Hello everyone, this is Sophie. Today I will try to answer the number one question I get from my viewers on YouTube. Where can I buy face painting supplies? Um, I know that this can be tricky, especially when you first get started. So I will try to give you a detailed answer and I will also tell you where I buy my favorite products. If you live close to a place where there is an actual face painting shop, I mean a real store that you can go to and select your products, then you really are in luck because you will be able to compare products and get great customer service and advice from professionals. They are obviously not everywhere and I only know of three that I will talk about here, but um, feel free to look up um, some other shops in your area. The first one is in the south of Holland, so perfect for all European customers. It's called Face Paint Shop and it looks like a really nice place to get all of your supplies in one spot. Another great one in um, Europe, in the south of England, is the Face Painting Shop. This one is absolutely amazing. They have everything a face painter can dream of. I personally shop there very often, but in their online store, because I'm sad to say I cannot go to England every couple of months. And if you are lucky enough to live in Florida or go there on vacation, you need to pay a visit to Silly Farm Supplies. In my opinion, this is probably the best. They have tons and tons of face painting products for beginners to professionals and especially the most wonderful staff that gives really great advice. But let's face it, most of us do not have access to these stores, so let's look at other options. What you might want to try is go to your local arts and crafts store and you might be able to find a couple of things there. Looking for brushes in an art store can be really tricky because there are so many of them. What you really want to look for are synthetic brushes that are firm to the touch. I recommend asking for watercolor or aquarelle brushes. They are often suitable for face painting. If your budget allows it, try to go for quality brushes as they will last longer and you will find it easier to paint with them. In an art store, you might also be able to find small containers or boxes. That's for example where I store my bobby pins or my q-tips to paint the girl's lips. I was also able to find some really big poofer bottles like these that I can fill in with the glitter color of my choice. A craft store is not necessarily a good place to buy glitter for face painting because it can be made of glass particles, which is definitely not something that you want to put on a child's face. So make sure that you check the label carefully that it is instead made of polyester. This brand would be okay by the way. It is however a good place to find little jewels like these. Again, make sure that they are not made of glass. They are such a pretty embellishment to any girl's design, um, but make sure that you use a skin glue to apply them and if possible, a water soluble one. My local craft store is also where I get my excellent brush soap from Da Vinci. Some stores set seasonal displays, especially around Halloween or Carnival with actual face painting products. But unless you know for sure that this product is safe, my recommendation is to stay away from the face paints that you find there. Uh, some other items might be okay, but the quality of cheap face paint is usually very poor and potentially harmful. Your best bet is definitely to buy your supplies in a professional face painting online shop and I will show you my favorite ones now. Today I will only speak about four websites that I really think are excellent, but there are obviously hundreds of other face painting websites where you can buy products depending on where you live. And I have tried to compile a list of worldwide face painting shops that I know of, and you will find this list in the description box below. Feel free to let me know about other websites that I might have forgotten, and I will update the list regularly. And I just want to mention at this point that I do not get any money, free products, or anything else for recommending these websites. If you've been following me for a little bit, you know already that the face paint brands that I use the most are Tag, Diamond FX, Meron, and Superstar. And the face painting websites that I will present next all carry these brands, so I will not repeat it every time, but just so that you know that you can find these brands there. To me, the Silly Farm website is the cave of wonders for face painters. Uh, it's such a pretty website, it has an easy navigation and an insane selection of products. I'm literally crazy about their Mama Clown glitter selection. To me, it's the best and I've really tried a lot of different ones. 
um, you can buy them in small pots or in the squeeze bottles and my favorite colors are the white which looks great over any color face paint the gold rainbow and the pixie pink the girls really love that one what silly farm is also really well known for are their split cakes which they call arty cakes or um, rainbow cakes and there again they have a huge selection I'm just showing you here one page of uh, split cake products that they have and they have five pages of them so I guess it's fair to say that you will find the color combination you're looking for. As you know from one of my previous videos I make my own split cakes in the meantime but if you're looking for something that's ready made you should definitely consider those because the quality is really top. Silly Farm also have their own brand of paint brushes, which are all very good. I personally have one of them, which is the petal brush, and I'm super happy with it because this could be a really good replacement for my beloved Low Kernel brush that you've seen me use in many videos to make these double dip flower petals. And sadly, this brush is no longer produced. So I'm happy to have found the petal brush from Silly Farm because it will be a very good alternative. And yes, I do have a favorite brand of sponge and it's definitely this one, the Meron Paradise High Density Sponge that I have been using since the very beginning of my adventures in face painting. After making one of my previous videos on how to blend colors, I got so many questions on my practice head and where I found it. Well, unfortunately, this particular head is no longer available, but Silly Farm has one that is considered by many face painters as being the best on the market. As you can see, it's a little bit pricey, but I've heard many, many good things about it. On to the face paint forum shop now. This website is very special to me because it has a lot of things that I like, and a few of them are very hard to find elsewhere. The first highlight of this website for me is that they carry the brand Wolf FX, which is very difficult to find or very often out of stock, especially their black and their white uh, are considered to be the best black and the best white that ever existed in face painting, so I'm happy to find them there. They also have my absolutely favorite face painting brush, the Low Cornell Gold Grip number no. 3, which is getting difficult to find in the meantime. Um, this is my go-to face painting brush. I paint with it all the time and I'm so happy that they still carry it because I just couldn't live without it, I think. I get also a lot of questions about the flat brush that I use in combination with my small split cakes. This is a Comfort Grip Low Cornell brush that I bought a long time ago and unfortunately it's been discontinued by the manufacturer. But luckily I found a very good alternative which is the Meron Paradise Prisma 3 4 inch brush that you see here in the middle of the picture and it's available on this website. You can also find here the Paradise Chisel brush that is also an excellent brush and that I use quite a lot. The next item is not so difficult to find on other websites, but they have a really good selection here. These are the BAMS stencils that you've seen me use before. And I sometimes get asked which one do I use the most? And I would answer definitely this one because a lot of girls want to be Elsa from the film Frozen. They also have the Sally Ann Lynch training boards. Uh, identical to the one I have and they have also many different versions but the single adult one like this one is definitely my favorite and the one I use the most often. Now the facepaintingshop.com in the UK is where I buy about 80% of all my supplies. Um, the navigation on the website is a little bit tricky but once you get used to it you can find really a lot of really great stuff there. They have their own brands of brushes in all shapes and forms that I heard a lot of good things about and they even have one that is called a flora brush and this one makes great petals just like the petal brush from Silly Farm. They also have the Meron flat brush that I told you about earlier and the famous uh, Sally and Lynch training boards that I also spoke about. Um, but they really have the complete collection it looks like and not just faces but also uh, torsos if you are into body painting, uh, arms, uh, hands, baby faces, just everything. You also find there the stencils that I mentioned and they have 11 pages of them so I'm pretty sure they have also the complete collection. 
What I also really like is that they have specific items, just like this um, brush box from Artbin that you've seen me present in another video. This is such a practical item to have if you're traveling a lot. They also have my uh, favorite brush holder and the empty glitter box that you've seen me use so often and that I got so many questions about. Now you know where to find it. Another items I get asked a lot about are my uh, poofer bottles or squeeze bottles that I use um, to uh, spray glitter over my designs. And they have empty bottles that you can just fill in with your favorite color of glitter. That's also where you can find some really good face painting sponges, very similar to the ones I use. And this super practical pocket that you will love if you travel a lot with your brushes. And finally, the face paint shop in Holland is not a place where I shop very often at the moment, but I might change my habits if the Brexit really happens. Um, and I found out that they actually have a lot of the good things that I talked about earlier, including the training boards. Um, they also have the BAM stencils, the whole collection, I think. They also have a lot of good brushes, like for example, this Mark Reed uh, round brush number four that I have and that I really adore. They have also the Meron Prisma brush that I talked about. And guess what? They have my favorite um, Low Cornell round brush number three. So this is so awesome. They also have some of the Silly Farm products, like some of the brushes and some of the uh, glitter, yeah, and the arty cakes. So very cool for those of us who cannot shop in the US. It also looks like they have some good delivery conditions with some free shipping, depending on how much you spend. So definitely a website I would consider looking into if you live in Europe. So that's it for today. I hope that this answered some of your questions. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a little thumbs up. Uh, you can leave a comment. It would be great to hear from you and um, answer any questions you might have. So see you next time and have a great day.